as usual, Tia Mari is going viral again. And it's always for the wrong reasons. It's never for good reason. She's always going viral for some of the dumbest things. So, what did she say right now? Well, apparently, she has a new uh, reality show coming out. And she's talking about how she's no longer close with her sister. She's talking about how she has no one to talk to because of her divorce, what she's been going through. I'm sure you guys have seen that clip. If not, here it is. Tia Mori is getting candid about her relationship with her sister, Tamara Mori. In a teaser for her new docu-series, Tia Mori, My New Act, the 46-year-old opens up about life following her divorce from her now ex-husband, Corey Hardrick, and shares that she wishes she could speak to her sister during these difficult times, but they're no longer close. I came into this world with a twin. And right after that, I went into a 22 year relationship. So I have never been alone in my life. Being alone has been the most challenging part of my divorce. It's times like this when I feel and wish that my sister and I were still close and I could, you know, pick up the phone and call her. But that's just not where we are right now. No. I don't know how many people know this, but this just didn't happen yesterday. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to play a few clips to let you guys know this just didn't happen yesterday. Everybody's talking about it like, like it's news. This has been going on to where Tamara just like, yo, you go do your thing, I'm gonna go do my thing. I'm gonna play a few clips from that show they did together a few years back, okay? To let you know how they drifted apart. I'm gonna play these clips and when it's done, I will come back and play a recent interview that Tia did. And I believe she was low-key, low-key hating on her sister. Okay? Let's get to it. Hello. Welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the show. That's where you're wrong. You're not getting Listen, it. This is what I'm saying. You can only see how you feel. You can't see the entire, you can't see some time past your nose. You yes, only I see can. how, no, you can't. Are you able to see past your nose with my situation? Hell yeah, I had to learn from you being pregnant. Just because I didn't want to be the maid of honor. That's the difference. Doesn't mean that, that Andrea shouldn't have like communicated with me. It's because you said you didn't want to do it. The thing is, is she's worked damn hard when you said you didn't want to. All right, Tamir, all right. Like I said before, Tia and her sister feuded. It's nothing new. It is nothing new. So, I do not understand why everybody's making a big deal out of her saying she's not close with her sister anymore. It's nothing new. It is nothing new. Let's keep going. Usually, when she has me writing like this, I'm actually crying. Oh, and when I'm writing. What do you feel like she perceived it as? Fine, I don't want to talk to you. More like, I can't. She doesn't understand me. I don't, I want her to understand me. This is not, sorry. This is not what I, what I think she thinks I'm saying. So I'm trying to get it out. That's what I'm doing. I'm crying when I'm writing the email. Okay. Are y'all noticing the pattern? Are you guys noticing the pattern? Are y'all noticing something? Let's keep going. Well, yeah, because I'm, I feel like you don't care because I've expressed that I don't like her emailing her emotions. I would like for her to pick up the phone. And the reason why I always tell her I never pick up the phone is because I don't like confrontation, but shouldn't be a confrontation. It should just be a conversation. But it's all good, right? I'm going to think about it for a second. Why do you need to think about it? Because sometimes you are selfish. Why you are. are you crying? How am I selfish? Because you just don't get it. You don't get it right now. So you're this upset about it. She thinks life is about Tia. And everybody else should do what she says and and, and just live in her orbit. You know why I was upset? Because you were late. You're you saying that I'm selfish. selfish. Yeah. The thing is, is you don't care. Yeah. You think about yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry that that's how I made you feel because that's not my intention. Just like you said with Andrea. That's my, not, that's not my, I hope you know that that's not my intentions in making you feel that way. That's why I'm like, wow, like I'm shocked that this is how you feel. Wait, Actually, okay. I know you as Wait. being selfish all the time, so that's no, not how I, no. I know you as being selfish. That's, but that's, that's your assumption. That's not my intention. Yeah, that's not my assumption. That's your actions. At that particular point, 
You have two major things going on. You can't just think about yourself all the time. Can you imagine how she is with Corey? Look at how she is with her sister. Can you just imagine how she was with Corey? Then she divorced Corey. Then she goes on this tour about her divorce. I'm, I'm making it seem like Corey left her. You understand what I'm saying? Have you guys noticed that? The way she talks on every... Just go back and listen to all her interviews. The way she talks, you will think that Corey left her. You will think that Corey abandoned his family. You will think that Corey broke up his marriage and left his children. But no, it was her. She's the one that left. She's the one that fought for divorce. She's the one that broke up her family. She's the one that ripped away a two parents household from her children. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Few months back, she did an interview and I could be wrong. She was low key hating on her sister. Yes, she was low key hating on her sister, Tamara. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode, we are gonna listen to her, okay? Shout out to our good sister, Ebony, for sending this clip. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm my sister's very traditional. Okay. I have, mm, I can be traditional with certain things, mm -hmm. but I, I consider myself almost like the black sheep of the family. Like I'm, I'm very, I, I push the envelope a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I kind of go by the beat of my, go by, what, what do you call it? Beat of your beat, drum. Beat of, yeah, the beat of my own drum. Mm -hmm. um, where I think my sister um, just kind of um, finds comfort in tradition. Mm -hmm. Whereas me, I'm like, I love tradition. I think it's cool, but I ask questions. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I got another question for you. Okay, yeah, but I'm just like, why, why, why are we doing this? Why do we have to do this? Who says we have to do that? <laughs> um, so I feel like I'm very different or we're very different in that way, even with our parenting styles. Like she's okay. very traditional. Whereas I'm a little like softer when it came to like my son was still sleeping in, you know, my bed until he was five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like, when he's ready to get rid of the bottle, he'll let me know. <laughs> so you give them more freedom to, I do. to grow as they yeah. and naturally I, do. Yeah, and I think I'm that way as a person. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm, I'm not saying she's narrow-minded at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I, I have a very broad um, perspective on certain things, and she's very comfortable with familiarity. Is that mm -hmm. the word? Um, in certain things. I'm not speaking for her, you know, in any kind yeah. of way, but I think that's how we're different. Uh, well, yeah, Tia, you are saying she's narrow-minded. You are. Again, oh, am I tripping? Ladies and gentlemen, am I tripping? She did say her sister is narrow-minded. She is open. She is free. She has a freedom. She is a free thinker. Wow. Her sister is tradition. Her sister is one way. Her sister is narrow-minded. Her sister only sees life as this way. What is wrong with comfortable? That is the problem with today's society. What is wrong with comfortable? What is wrong with comfortable, ladies and gentlemen? You understand what I'm saying? What I heard was, traditional life is boring. That's all I heard. Traditional life is boring. I don't wanna do that. Is it starting to make sense? She is all about her. Tia is all about her. Tia. And that is why I have no empathy for her. That is why I don't feel sorry for her. She deserves everything that's coming her way. She deserves it 10 times fold. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to, okay? 
And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.